Hey, YouTube's is my Pokemon Fire Red Walkthrough, part 15, route 10 to route 8, part of route 8. Okay, we're going to finish up this route here, route 10, and go from there. We're going to take on Pig Nicker Carol, who has a level 21 Pidgey in... I don't know what our second Pokemon is. It's a Pidgeotto, but I'm not quite sure what the level is. Later on in the video, we also catch another Pokemon that goes on my team for once. Uh -huh. Pidgeotto, a uh, level... Hmm... What level are you, Pidgeotto? Level 21 as well, okay. Nothing uh, Mega Punch can't take care of. Or two in this case. The only thing to worry about Pidgeotto is its Whirlwind, which just switches at your Pokemon. Um, do 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 do. 508 XP. I am recording this at 4:42 a.m. So I just got back from um, the midnight release of Hangover 2. Very funny movie. Um, it was okay. Mm, not as good as the original, but it was pretty good. This hike hiker has a Geo dude. 21. Nothing too hard for my Ivy Sore. Yeah, but uh. Hangover 2 is hilarious. Uh, not as good as the original because it followed pretty much the same plot. And level 21 Onyx. But um, it's well worth, the, well worth the money to go see. Defeated Hiker Clark. Come down here and uh, face this guy. He wants to show us his Pokemon. Let's hope he doesn't. Sh it's the only thing he does show us because he looks like one of those creepy dudes that likes showing things to little ten-year-old boys. Alright, uh, he's a level twenty Q Bone. Since it is a ground type Pokemon, uh, Leaf and Water is super effective. And he has a slow poke. Nothing, nothing to worry about because it's too low of a level right now against mine. So even if it uses a psychic type mat, psychic type move, it ain't gonna hurt me at all. And Ivysaur gains some XP. When Ivysaur reaches level 32, something amazing will happen. Repel. Where up? There's something about something being delicious. I'm a little creeped out now. I'm not gonna lie. Hiker Trent and his Onyx. And he has also a Graveler, both level 19. Nothing to worry about. He's got a. As long as you have a water type Pokemon or a grass type, you should be fine. Or if you've got a Needle King or a Fighting type Pokemon. A fighting type move will be super effective against him. And now uh, watch this awesome thing that happens to Ivysaur. Because it gains up a level. To level 32. And I mean the most awesomest thing happens right here. Defeat Tiger Trent as well. Doot, 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 doot. It's evolving. Yay. A uh, doot, 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 doot. It is now a Venusaur. Awesome tacular. <laughs> I've been playing the game that I'm gonna do my next walkthrough for. Come down here in this in this house right here. I forgot, but that's the name Raider's house. And apparently, something really irritating happened. 
the rockets deserve no mercy, grr. What are you gonna do with your Q bone? Give it a bone? <laughs> Anywho, this is the name raider. Yes, ye nickname. Um, and it seemed to find nothing wrong with it. See, watch, it's truly impeccable name. Take good care of Ching Ding. Really? That's the first time it's ever happened to me. And it made me want to cry because, I mean, I wanted to change his name. We healed up, and now we're going to face our rival battle and get into another rival battle. I think this is like the, the fifth one in the game. Um, he got rid of one of his Pokemon and added another one. He got rid of Rattata, which is Rattatos for his Eradicate, and he put on uh, a Gyarados for his Water type Pokemon. But it doesn't know any Water type moves. But it's Water and Flying, so the only really effective move against it is Electric type, which I don't much care for because it pain in the ass to beat. This is my Ivysaur, my Venusaur is such a high level, his uh, uh, flying type moves are pretty much useless. And also, if you notice, I don't use Ching Ding, because I can't use it until I forget at the next uh, gym battle, because it uh, is too high of a level to, because I got it in the trade, so it's too high of a level to understand any of my commands, which is really irritating. But we gained 400 XP. Mm, he's gonna send us Kadabra. Um, Kadabra is not too much of a worry. It's got really crappy defenses for, especially being a level 20. So there's nothing to worry about right now. This is the Pokemon you have to worry about. His is uh, Gyarados because it doesn't know the move Thrash, which is a pain in the us. Especially when Nido King gets confused. Nido King gets confused and it hurts itself. How is that even possible? Do they just like punch themselves in the face or something? I don't know. But it snapped out of confusion pretty quickly, which is uh, really helpful. But Gyarados and a stupid thrash continues. But it gets poisoned, which is very helpful. It's pretty much the only move I can land on it that's really going to be effective is not, uh, Mega Punch, which ends up missing like twice in a row, which is a pain in the ass. Which I just end up using my Super Potions to to help it last out. That's the only thing you really can do is affect it with a stat move like poison and just wait it out because unless you have an electric type Pokemon um, you're really not going to do too much to it or a rock type. We got lucky there because it hurt itself in uh, confusion so we got lucky. Even though it landed the move Thrash, um, Poison takes it out in this next move right here, right there. So pretty much all that's left is this Charmander, which gets taken out by the move Dig, because it, uh, its only weaknesses are Water and Ground type moves. So we got lucky. So I won't be able to catch my, uh, Water type Pokemon to add to my team till later on in the game. So. Ground types really helpful here. Landed a critical hit, but it doesn't matter because double kick will take it out in the end. After our rival battle, I head, I head up to the Pokemon Center and I heal up, and then we're gonna go catch um, catch another Pokemon to go on my team, which is very very, which is. The next Pokemon to go on my team, if you don't know already, 
is going to be a Growlithe. It's uh, my fire type Pokemon, and it's going to be very, very f powerful once I get it leveled up. After I catch it, I go back through Route, what was it, 10? And I just uh, train with the VS Seeker. Which the VS Seeker does come in handy because um, when you get Pokemon, because I'm going to be catching it at a level 16, and it does come in very big handy when you're going against Pokemon that are up high. And the move Ember is the only fire type move it knows, and it's not that effective if it's a low level Pokemon. This guy's got a level 24 Growlithe and a level 24 Volpix. Um, nothing to worry to worry about because I've got the move Dig. Which takes them both out in four turns, just because four turns in, mo in total. Because Dig takes two turns to actually do its thing. And now he's gonna use his Vulpix. Um, like I said before, nothing too big of a worry. If you have your Pokemon at least trained up to at least to level 28 by now. If you've only got like three Pokemon like I do, um, it shouldn't be too hard to get them all leveled up by now. Now I can use Dig, and it's awesome. Defeated Gamer Rich, um, get two thousand dollars almost, about eighteen hundred. Come over here and you cut this, and then this um, patch of grass you'll catch Growlithe, Ekans, Pidgeys, and I think Rattatas. Um, and then Leaf Green you'll catch a Vulpix over here. I prefer Growlithe because Growlithe is much more uh, powerful against them. I also, at the Lavender Town Mart, I picked up some Great Balls to help me. Because if I know if I inflict any damage on this Pokemon, it'll definitely get knocked out in one hit. Because it's just my uh, Venusaur is such a powerful Pokemon, and it's much higher level. I only took two Great Balls to get out. See nothing too much to worry about. Caught it in two Great Balls, and it's a female. Which knows that which its uh, special ability is like blaze fire or fire blaze, something like that. It's not it 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 only its fire type moves will get uh, enhanced only if it's hit by a fire type move, which will come in handy I guess. Um, I leveled it up to level twenty eight, barely if you notice, but. I'm hopefully going to get it up to level 31 before the gym because it learns a really, really good fire type move at 31, which is going to be f the fire type move will be uh, Flame Wheel, which is the only other move I'm going to teach it because um, you have to, um, I'll explain that later. But thanks for watching and please stay tuned for more and check out the people I subscribe to. Their videos are awesome. Thanks. Route 8 finished. Next.